Hola. How you doing? It's Rick. I'm going to do a, it's Sunday. So I'm going to do a landscape here. I'm going to sketch it in first with a, a knife with a burnt umber and a little bit of black mixed in there. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Let me shut the bubbles off here. But it's Sunday, and I'm just I'm just relaxing. I just sold two paintings. Uh, I have paintings hung around Seattle and uh, in different businesses, breweries and uh, coffee shops, and you just every once in a while you get a sale because I have it set up with Venmo. They just pay with Venmo and they just take the picture, the one they want. At the brewery, I have over like 20 paintings hanging up there. They gave me the whole upstairs. I got uh, a lot of paintings hung over there. So every once in a while, I get some sales in my Venmo. It's pretty cool. It's a good way to sell your art. If you know anybody with a coffee shop or a restaurant, and see if they'll let you hang some of your paintings in there. They're not allowed to accept the money for you, but you could set it up with a Venmo where they can pay you with Venmo, and then they just take your picture. You don't even have to be there when it sells. So All right, I'm going to get started now on uh, sketching something. Since I have no clue what I'm going to paint, but I, I know I'm going to design a, a cool landscape right now. I'm getting my finger all in this white here. I shouldn't have put the white out yet, <laughs> but I did. I think I want to have a low horizon today. Uh... Low horizon, so I don't have to deal with so much uh, landscape down here. And uh, maybe today I'm going to make some smaller mountains here. Uh, we'll put some small peaks back here. If you haven't used a knife to sketch, it's pretty fun. It, it you can uh, you can put the shading in there like this, and kind of get an idea what your painting might look like when it's uh, when you get it all painted. All right, I'll have like four peaks back there. I can add more peaks down here too. All depends on how you paint it. Let's put a hill over here. Coming right into the middle. And I'm going to have another hill. Maybe up here. Coming into the middle. So I get some kind of... Uh, center point right in there and let's see what am I going to do today I'll maybe I'll put uh, some kind of uh, cliff over here we'll put a cliff coming down here cool so 
So see, this will be a hill coming down, and then it's going to drop off. And uh, we'll have to put something down here now at the bottom. We'll run uh, these hills down here like this. There we go. So we'll have a, a nice hill over here. And then it's going to drop off and then go down into a canyon down here. I don't know if you can see that. It looks pretty cool. I kind of like it. Let me uh, define this a little better here. All right, I'm gonna put some paint out now and uh, get started. I'm gonna have a big sky. Look at that sky. That's what happens when you put your horizon down low. Now I gotta, I gotta deal with a lot of sky up here. But maybe I'll put a, a tree right in here coming from the uh, foreground to fill this in. We'll see. Let me get some paint mixed here. Uh, I think I'm going to need more blue and gray than anything. A little bit of green here. I'll make this green grass up here. A little green, sap green. I'll use, uh, what kind of blue am I going to use today? I don't want to use Prussian blue. That stuff is pretty strong. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, ultramarine blue for the sky. And I'm going to put a little violet in it. I'm just going to mix a little bit of violet right into the uh, ultramarine blue to give it a different uh, look. So how that works, I just put a little violet there and I'm just going to mix it in there. It's going to be a really cool looking blue. And then I'll uh, lighten it up for the sky with some white. So there's the sketch I did. Uh, What I think I'm going to do first, I got some, I'm going to mix some gray real quick and show you this cliff down here, uh, how it's going to work. Uh, so I'm going to mix a little sap green with some white. Let me show you real quick. So right here, this will all be some like grass in here. I'm going to have grass in here. On the top of these cliffs. I 
as well put that hill in. Nice light green. And then I'm going to have, uh, these are going to be cliffs. So let me uh, paint those in real quick. I'm going to use a light gray for now. Maybe a little blue in it. But these are going to be, I'm just going to lightly put them in so you can kind of see what they're going to look like. a drop off coming down here and then I'll probably put some sand down here but I wanted to show you the ground how it's gonna kind of be I'll put a little green down there for now like that it's going to be a drop off this will be a canyon i'm going to end up putting some uh, cool trees up here and the mountain back there pretty cool i kind of like it already so we have different levels here like a hill Put some dark green in there. Just like that. Nice rocky cliff here. I like painting on Sunday. Uh, I get to just relax, you know. And I sold two paintings just before I, I got started here. That's awesome. So I'll get back to that now. So if you, uh, these, uh, if you're an artist and you're doing like abstract, you should give these uh, landscapes a try. They do sell. I just sold two today. I mean. Uh, and I got them hanging at this brewery set up with Venmo. Just trying to give you some ideas how you can sell them. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to join up with the like uh, gallery because they charge you money to put your paintings in there every month. And if, if you don't sell anything. You're going to lose money, so. I mean, if you're in a gallery, you better know your paintings are going to sell because you got to pay like a monthly fee there, you know. I need some... Uh, I'm going to put yellow ochre down here in burnt umber. I'm going to make this all dirt 
down here and we'll have the grass up here so when you uh, when you squeeze the color out of your tube if you're new to acrylic paint don't use the color right out of the tube right out of the tube uh, you should mix something with it they recommend uh, there's the uh, yellow ochre I just put down you they recommend maybe a little bit of white you can mix a little white in there 5% white or you can put a little burnt umber in there just mix something with it because uh, the paint's meant to be mixed uh, all acrylic paint you want to mix it uh, to get your own color you know there we go look at that it's a nice color I'll probably have it light back here and then uh, then I want to get darker down here I got the this is the burnt umber I used to sketch the paint put some dark color down here I like mixing yellow ochre and uh, burnt umber you get this nice rich color look at that and that look cool I'm going to mix a little yellow ochre with my green and use it down here so it's, I get some kind of grass color down here. Yellow ochre, I mixed a little bit into that green that I used up there and we'll put it down here. Just get some cool colors down here. This is called uh, blocking in. I'm just blocking in the color here. Trying to get some cool uh, things happening down here. I like that dark right there. It looks like a shadow right there. Look at that. Now, if we're going to have the sun over here on the right, I'm going to put a shadow down here below this cliff. So what I would do is grab some of my burnt umber and we'll put it around the bottom of the uh, cliff here. Okay, because the... Uh, the sun wouldn't be hitting down here so just start off automatically with dark color right next to the cliff okay and it looks like shade already I'm just putting the colors in like really loose this is how I want it I want I want green up here gray mountains and some dirt down here it looks that's the way I want it now I'm gonna do the sky I almost want to put uh, a bigger mountain up here because I got a lot of sky to work with. I'm going to have to put a lot of clouds up there. Uh, I could make these foothills and put a huge mountain up here, maybe on the side here, swooping down. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I want uh, this is also a way to show you how to design. I think I put that in the title. Like I'm designing this on the fly, okay? Let me zoom in a little more here. I've got nobody watching, but I'll post this. So, so I've got 
this is what my design was, right? Now, I decided I wanted, uh, I'm going to offset a mountain over here on the side to fill this part of the sky up, okay? So I'm going to grab my knife again, and I'm going to design a, a mountain peak over here. I kind of want it to swoop down like this. Maybe a, we'll have a uh, small peak behind that one there. Just like that. So basically what I just did, I made these like foothills in the front and I think it's still going to look good these would be like uh, maybe the Alps you know the uh, tall mountains and uh, we could we could put our horizon back here now watch this A distant horizon way back there okay so this is uh, this is a good way to design your uh, paintings now I'm going to use a little darker gray for this mountain so it, it stands out a little bit in front of uh, these foothills. I'm just going to put a little some underpaint on it real quick. What I'm putting on right now uh, is all my underpaint, okay? It's the, the colors I'm choosing that I think that's what I'm going to want the painting to look like. put a few humps out here so it's not so smooth you know what I mean just uh, I'll probably do that with my knife uh, make it more rugged I want to sneak that small one in the back there like that all right there we go look at that now I just raised my horizon up to here remember I started it with it down here now it's up here this is where the Sun would set here now I'm gonna make this groundwork uh, yellow ochre and gray let me show you so here's my yellow ochre I took a little gray on my brush and I'm going to mix it into that yellow ochre and get like a grayish color, a light gray. And that's going to be the color of this groundwork back here. Let's just block it in for now. Just like that look at that man that looks good I'm gonna grab a little white titanium white and just run it at the back of my uh, horizon just to lighten that up back there to see what it looks like you can blend it in a little if I want that lighter in the distance just blend it in wow look how much that changed so far 
Uh, originally, we are just going to have this mountain down here. And this cliff. And that would have been it. I would have put a few trees here. But now I added a horizon and a bigger mountain. Wow. I really like this. It's looking good. What else could we add back here? I mean, we could put some distant mountains back there too if you wanted uh let's do the sky now let's get the sky in and then i'll decide if i want indications of distant mountains back there but i gotta mix my blue now if you're just tuning in i just i designed this with a knife all this and I, it was just down to here. And then I added this big mountain and the horizon. Because I thought it was too low. I would have had too much sky to work with. So it, it's morphing into uh, something else. I put a little violet in this blue already. I'm going to lighten it up with white for my sky. I'm going to try and mix the sky with gray and blue and uh, white clouds <clears throat> real loose and kind of get the clouds to mix in right now while the sky is going to be wet. <clears throat> I'm going to try and do wet on wet up there. I'm going to use a big uh, filbert brush to lay down a lot of paint. Okay. I'm going to start with the blue, maybe right here in the center. Let's just put the blue in here. Put it on heavy because I don't have an underpaint. You'll because the white will the white will show through. But I might end up uh, putting some dark gray in there. Let's see what that looks like. Or black. Just a little at the top. Grab a little white. Maybe that's all I want for... Uh, I don't want it too dark. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to bring it down now to the horizon with the light blue and white. Put a little dark blue up here. <clears throat> when you're putting your sky in, just mix, start mixing it with three colors, uh, blue, gray, light blue, dark blue. Just uh, start mixing it, and uh, then we're going to blend it in once we get all this filled in. Uh, I try and lighten up my horizon, though. I make this really light down here.
what I like about putting that gray in, it almost looks like this is like a gray cloud up there already. You see that? <laughs> it kind of looks like a gray. You get a smaller brush. So it is Sunday. I got to work tomorrow early in the morning. So that's why I'm painting this right now. I got to go to bed early. I've got to go to bed at uh, like 6 o'clock my time so I can get up at... Uh, I've got to be to work at 2.45 in the morning. So you can figure out what time I have to be up takes me at least an hour to get ready so I need time to get coffee made get dressed and then need 15 minutes to get to work I have to uh, I'm getting used to it I mean, it's kind of hard to go to bed at 6 in the evening. <laughs> Not that easy. <clears throat> All right. That's still a big sky. Still a big sky uh, to me. <clears throat> but I, I kind of like to mix some clouds in here right now. Uh I can tell you, I'm not, acrylic paint, when I was doing oil clouds, the clouds with oil paint come out awesome. Let me see if I got an oil painting around here. Acrylic is a little different, uh. I mean, I'll try and blend it in. I, I bought some glaze. I just haven't used it yet. Uh, supposedly, you could put this in your acrylic, and then it'll stay wet for you, so you can blend it. I just hate using these uh, blender brushes, because once you wet these, they don't work. they don't work the same anymore. Because they're nice and soft right now. But once you use it, it's like you better clean that thing good because you can tell I never used it before. Uh, the bristles are coming out of it already. All right, let's try it like I used to do. Uh, Look at all those bristles coming out. I better get a paper towel because I'm getting paint all over my hand. Uh, I didn't uh, grab any paper towels here. I got a glove here. Let's try a, a, a paint a, a cloud like I used to do with oil paint. So what I would do, let's just try it. Right, uh, right here. So I would stamp in my uh, cloud with oil, same way, just stamp it in with the brush. And I would bring it down like that. Now, Let's see if this blender brush works. And then I would uh, blend the bottom into the uh, paint. Okay. Just like that. Seems to be working. Let's try it again. Try not to use a wet brush. Because the paint has to be... Uh, 
you don't need any water right now, okay, on your paint. Let's put another one in. And just bring it down a little with your brush, enough to blend. I like to bring it to the side like this. Now let's blend that bottom, bottom part of the uh, cloud. Into the sky. Getting uh, bristles up there. It's working. If you just blend the bottom, leave the top. See how it leaves some of the white up there? And it, you can't get this brush wet. You can't, don't get any water on the uh, blender brush. Once you wet that, once you wet that brush, then it's, you can't use it for the painting anymore. So, so you could probably end up using, uh, it's a really soft brush. I'm trying not to wet my uh, filbert brush either. But this is how I used to do my oil clouds. But see how it's kind of hard, it's not blending in there. I mean, it's working okay. That's how you do your uh, clouds, so. Because when you do them this way, you get, you get some different tone in there, okay? You see some of the blue coming through down here. It almost looks like a shadow, right? Let's do a cloud over here coming this way now. Let's see what happens, so. I forgot to tell you when sometimes when you go up with the cloud like this it looks it looks better okay whoops I just uh, wet my brush not the best cloud but maybe I can blend it to look better all right there we go what do you think of those clouds they look kind of cool, huh? If you uh, if you always try changing the direction on your clouds, if you always make them straight, start bringing one end up, uh, m mainly in the middle, so it, it makes it look like uh, they're coming down. It looks like they're coming, it, it'll give it perspective, Go like going back. Let me try, let me put one here to show you what I mean. Uh, we're going to put one over the top of this because uh, it needs to be layered, okay? I did it again. I just have to do it like this. I 
wanted to run this one up a little. <clears throat> but I'm so used to making my clouds flat and straight. They look better if you uh, run the tip up a little like I did on this one. But I'm so used to doing them straight, you forget. All right, there we go. We got some cool clouds there. That's enough. So there, there's uh, get one of these uh, blender brushes. It's called a mop brush. The thing is now, you gotta you gotta get this paint off uh, before it dries, right? And now. If I clean this right now, I won't be able to use it again for this painting. So that's that's the thing about these. So but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it so I can have it for tomorrow. <laughs> Doesn't that look cool though? Here's my brush cleaner. This stuff works good. The uh, the Masters brush cleaner. Yeah, this stuff's pretty good. The it lasts for a long time. You just you just rub your brush in there and then rinse it. I put a Brillo pad in the sink and rub it on the Brillo pad. But then you can leave you can leave the soap uh, on the brush. I already rinsed this, but and then tomorrow you just uh kinda uh run your finger over the brush and make it fluffy again all right i'm gonna do the mountain next let me get rid of this glove this is looking pretty good look at those clouds i haven't done clouds like that since i used the oil paint look at that So I blended those clouds. They came out pretty good. I like how the white stayed on top here. See that? Looks like the, the sun is hitting those. Alright. That's a cool way to do clouds. These are like cumulus clouds. There's so many different types of clouds. It's ridiculous how many different style clouds there are. All right, I'm going to do this big mountain here. So I do have some extra peaks in here I made. It's like an extra mountain right in there. Got my Pepsi.
Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. I got a peak right here. Just going to add a couple more peaks in here. It's such a big mountain. This is the main peak up here. And then I got another peak over here. And then this small peak here. I like tying these mountains. I can either put this mountain over that one or just tie them in like that. <clears throat> I like doing it like that because it, it makes the mountain look uh, a lot different. put a cliff down here uh, for my uh, shade I'm gonna mix some light blue with a little gray in it going to be like a grayish blue color here. Kind of going fast on my mountain. If I had the blender brush, I would try and blend that, but I'm going to use a, uh, I'm just going to use a filbert brush. I need a new rag. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to wet my filbert brush and just blend in this lower part of the mountain with the wet brush. Just wet your brush a little and lightly hit this lower part and kind of blend the lower part of the mountain in. Wipe your brush. Don't get too much paint all over. Let 
going to grab a little white There we go. Got to get rid of this rag that stinks. Uh, thinking about, I got to redo these hills now. I use a like a, a light gray with some blue in it. I don't know if I want them that blue. A little titanium white I'm mixing in to the bottom of these hills. <clears throat> All right, there we go. I'm going to put a little color on these hills. Uh, just a hint of uh, light. On each peak. Then I'm going to run a few uh, hills in here. Just like that. Real loose. I think I'd like to pull this one a little more. When you drag that uh, color more to the right it makes the mountain uh really a, a lot bigger you know what i mean it gives the mountain some uh more dimension i could say it makes it look better <laughs> pull your mountains one way or the other I like always pulling them. If I'm doing, I'm on the right side, I like pulling them to the right. Now, with this snow, you can actually keep going over it and over it. So it, it dulls down a little bit. That looks good. That looks really good. What I'm going to do is uh, darken up this my shade color okay i don't like this uh shadow color for that particular mountain that doesn't look right so what i'm gonna do is uh that was pretty light so i'm gonna make it darker A darker blue. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, it just doesn't look uh, right to me. The, uh, the lightness of it. I'm going to try a little dark in here. 
see what it does. See if it's going to help it. Hmm. Let me gray that up a little bit. A little black. Put a little black in that blue. There we go. I like that color better. Okay, so I put a little black in the blue. And it just looks, it looks better to me with this darker uh, shadow color. Yeah, and I'll redo the white. I'm going to have to redo the white up there. Cool. That's really dark. I like that, though. I'm going to re-hit the white. And then it should look... Then it should look okay. Redo the white. It should look fresh again. different way to do the mountain there. Let's see. Yeah, I like it. That works for me. Look at that. Sometimes you just got to keep working your mountain. Sometimes you got to keep working it till it looks good, you know. I'm starting to like the colors are mixing kind of cool. Keep adding on top of it. I'm getting uh, some pretty cool colors in there. That's enough. That looks pretty good. 
I'm going to leave it. Looks good enough. getting a little blend on the bottom part of the mountain. Look at that. Yeah, it just softens it up a little bit because then, then you don't have a hard edge down there. This is looking really good, guys. Man. I can't believe it. Look at those clouds. I'll lower this down just a little. Wow. Another one just from my head. I like that drop off right here. You could have someone running right here with uh, one of those big things that they fly with, those gliders. Have them running off this cliff and flying right right here. <laughs> I always wanted to put some balloons, you know. Have you ever been to Albuquerque, New Mexico? They have a big balloon festival out there. And there would be thousands of balloons out here in the sky floating around. But... I haven't done balloons yet, but I always think about it. Albuquerque, New Mexico. They got the balloon festival. Maxine, how you doing? Yeah, I like those clouds too. Uh, you have to get a uh, you have to get a, a blender brush to do them like that. It's a mop brush, but I already used it. Now I got to wait for this to dry. I'll be able to use it tomorrow, but it really softens up the cloud. It's how I used to do my oil clouds on my oil painting. I can see one over there. I'll show you before I'm done, but yeah, those clouds look really good. And uh, this is a, obviously this is acrylic paint. Uh, if you're still on, uh, I'll, I'll kind of show you what you could do. Because uh, just grab a small, like a small filbert brush and come in here and hit just the tops of some of these with white. Just the very, very top. But don't do them all. Just, uh, you could bring the, uh, the brightness back on, uh, some of the tops, okay? Take your time and pick and choose what you want to do. Because this looks kind of cool here. See how the white stayed? But you can always come back and add it. Add some more white to the top to make them look bright again. Just like I did right there. Now it looks... Uh... And then there, there's more going on here. Uh, if you want it to look layered... This one right here, bring bring it, bring the white over this way a little. So it looks like it's over that one. I don't have enough paint on there. But that way it looks like they're, uh, they got dimension. 
<clears throat> All right, where am I at? Where am I at? Oh, right here. I'm going to put a little... light color back here. So I got some hills in front of the main mountain. Look how that mountain came out now. Wow. It just dried. Look at that mountain. All that little extra work I did on it, changing the color. Uh... Man, doesn't that look cool? If I worked it just enough, you know, I could make, you know, a, a nice valley in here and here. But it's almost looking pretty good. It needs a few more dark spots where the sun's not getting into. But I'll do that later. But look at the color. Man. Looks like a cool mountain. Alright, i got to figure out what I'm doing down here now. Uh, I'd like to run just some trees. Maybe right on the edge of this cliff here. I mean, I don't have to go right up the, the hill because the hill is something up there would run kind of like this way. You know, if there was bushes here, they would go like this. They wouldn't follow that line. You know what I mean? So... Let me put some trees right, right here, or bushes. No, I want trees. I want this to look far away. I want this to look like if there was somebody standing here, they would be about that tall right there. Like if there was somebody standing up there. That's how... That's how far away I want that to look. So my trees would be, could be pretty big here. Let me make a tree real quick. I've got some sap green and black already mixed. Was it sap green and black? No, this is the, the color I used to uh, sketch the painting in. I can put, uh, let's, let's start back here. I'm going to put some uh, trees on the, uh, the back edge of this here, which I can do. This I can line the back. Well, we'll make them the just regular round trees. Bring it down to here. This is a number two oil brush, uh, fan brush. It works good with acrylic paint. There's some brushes that are designed to work for oil and acrylic. But I'm telling you, there's acrylic fan brushes that don't work with acrylic. They just, they're too flimsy. But you'll probably run into that. If you keep doing landscapes. All right, there's some cool trees there. This is uh, burnt umber with black in it. Look at how rich that looks over the gray. And look how nice it looks on this yellow ochre. 
you see the the contrast on both those colors man that looks wicked it's a nice rich color let's pull some of that brown out a little more into the yellow ochre that looks just so cool in there that brown over that color wow looks really cool this is the colors I'm picking for these mountains is perfect this gray and this white it just this area right here looks it looks real to me it looks like uh, an oil painting even the clouds just this section right here it looks like an oil painting It's looking pretty good. Now, uh, I got to fix this edge here somehow. Because I want it to look like this does. See how this edge really makes the, the contrast? This will look like it's far away. In the distance let me try some of the green again I'll try a little darker Sap green with uh, a little white. This edge has got to be perfect. That'll work. Yeah, see how it looks better now? It looks like uh, a nice smooth edge there. You can lighten all this up down here if you want. Uh, just rinse, rinse a brush off and then get a little titanium white on your brush. Just a little bit of white. And then you can wash all this down here to make it lighter. Just at the bottom. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put some trees in right here now. Uh, same color, same brush, a number two, this is a number two uh, oil brush, fan, blender brush. So I'm going to put uh, right here some small little bushes first. Just coming out. Pull the bottom to the right. Do the same thing here on each edge. Pull the bottom to the right. I'm checking things first before I put the trees in. I'm making sure this design's going to work. I'm 
These are kind of like low, low bushes. They're like six feet tall, but they're, they're not trees. The trees are coming right now. I'm just trying to decide where I want to put them. Do this real quick. I wasn't going to put any Bob Ross trees in there, but <laughs> somebody will say something. You got a Bob Ross painting now because <laughs> I put a Bob Ross tree in there. That's why people always, this is not a Bob Ross painting, by the way. This is all from my head. I don't, I don't do Bob Ross paintings. But every time I do an evergreen tree, they think it's Bob Ross, but oh well. I like Bob Ross. I've got nothing bad to say about him. I'm trying to think of where to put my trees. I think I want one right here in the middle for sure. I think I just took a little... Too much hit of the nicotine here. Yeah, right there. Okay. That's where I want a tree. like that that looks pretty cool a little too tall I'm going to shorten the trunk I wipe in the bottom there we go look at that tree that looks pretty awesome same thing, we got the uh, contrast of the dark, rich brown over the uh, gray, and a little bit on the green. This is looking pretty good. Let me see where I'm at on time. Wow, I'm already at an hour and ten minutes. I guess I gotta bring this to an end, guys. It's pretty long already. I'll probably have to do a part two on it. Uh, because, man, this is a nice painting. This is really nice. Uh, yep, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably put 
uh, another tree here, here, and here. Or I don't know. Maybe one more tree here at an angle. And then I'll do something else down here. This looks pretty good. I got a lot to work on though. I got to finish these cliffs. Uh, kind of get edge to bottom in here so you can see what I'm seeing. There we go. See that? A nice drop off going down all right guys I'm glad you watched this one I really had fun doing this one uh, I made a big break uh, I learned a lot on this one so a lot on the clouds the clouds came out great uh, if if you got a, a mop brush give these clouds a try with the mop brush it really worked I blended the uh, what I did if you didn't see I, I put the cloud up there one at a time and then I grabbed the the mop brush and blended in the, the bottom into the uh, sky okay that's how I used to do the oil paint so it works it works with acrylic too so I don't want to end it but I am gonna have to this is already it's already over an hour and a half almost but look at that I know I had a lot of people on, but uh, it's getting late. Maxine liked the clouds. I like them too. I got to finish this one tomorrow after work. It's a really cool painting. Yeah, this one's coming out pretty good. All right, guys. It's been uh, over an hour and a half almost, so I got to end this video. I'll have to finish it. I'll do a part two on it. I'll have to do it tomorrow after work. So it'll be tomorrow morning sometime around 9 in the morning. I'll finish this one up. All right, guys. Ciao. Have a good night. And uh, thanks for watching.